Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna go over web views. So I made a little demo here. I just have a button in an activity and when I click on the button, it's gonna open up a browser window inside of the application. So I'll click the button and you can see it opens up to YouTube and I can scroll, I can open videos, I can, I'm not logged in so I can't see my account or anything, but here I'll just play a video just to show you it working. <laughs> So let's close that and get started. We'll create a new project and I'm just going to call it web view. That's fine. Empty activity is fine and finish. Okay. We're going to get started by making the layout. So let's go into our activity main and we'll get rid of this hello world text and we'll get rid of this padding and let's create a web view. So just start typing web view and it pops up we'll do match parent and match parent and we'll give it an ID of whoops. We'll give it an ID and we'll just call it web view and that should be fine. Now we'll go outside the web view and let's create a button for opening up the browser. Just do wrap content, wrap content and we'll give it some text and say uh, open browser and we'll give it an ID of button open browser. And let's give it a little margin on the top just to make it look a little better, even though it's not going to make a big difference. And then center it horizontally. There we go. Okay. We're done in here. Let's close activity main and go into main activity. At the top, we'll create our tag, our web view object, and our button object. Okay. Now let's go into on create and declare our objects. And then we're going to attach an on click listener to our button. So set on click, whoops, set on click listener, new on click listener. And then when we click on the button, we're going to initialize the web view and then load the URL that we want. So th there's, there's a few ways to use web view, but like the simplest way is just to uh, declare the object and then just load a URL that you want. So you go web view dot load URL, and then you just type the string of the URL you want. So in this case, we're just going to use YouTube because it's easy and that would be it. This, this will run and this will work fine. We just got to go into the manifest and add internet permissions. So close manifest once we got the internet permissions and this this will work even though there's not really there's a few other extra settings you could set but on a basic level like this this will work fine so let's uh, let's just run it and see if we get any errors all right so we got the app open let's click open browser and we can see everything open. it actually opened up to where I was at before and you can see that the home page for YouTube works and we can scroll through it and uh, well that looks funny um, yeah so that's kind of on a basic level, web views is not really much to it. One other thing you might want to do is enable JavaScript because it doesn't uh, enable JavaScript pop-ups by default. So, like if you go to a, uh, a website and it's got some JavaScript pop-up or something, you're not going to see that in the web view. But you just write a few lines of code here and uh, enable that. So you can go uh, create a web settings object, and we'll just call it. Uh, we can just call it web settings, and we call the web view. So web view dot get settings and then we just do web settings uh, dot set javascript enabled and then we just do true that's kind of one thing you'll probably want to do too but other than that not much more to it if this video was helpful don't forget to leave a like below follow me on twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching